for interest. <laughs> now, do you have a target audience or a target market who the book is for? Well, I feel like definitely got to be 18. Okay. Nobody under 18 can read okay. this. Uh, is there are some, it's you know, there's some romance in there. Ooh, it's not, I'm not going to, it's not that bad, uh -huh. but, you know, because it does have right. love in it, it right. goes into the romance area, and I wouldn't recommend kids, you know, yeah, absolutely, even sure. though some of them, you know, might be there anyway, but yeah. I am going to encourage them. Absolutely, so absolutely. I say 18 and up, and like I said, I feel like everybody can benefit from it, so at least... 18 to 40, you know, I think they would definitely get something out of it. That's interesting. That's interesting. So, I mean, how many more do you plan on writing? Is this a lifelong dream that you want to do? You want to continue yeah. doing it? I'll just... Something that I know it feels good to your soul to get all of that. It out. does, yeah. it really does, because it took so long. Sure. Like, I started yeah. the book in 2010, uh -huh. put it down, didn't pick it back up to 2015, mm -hmm. and I committed to finishing it, and I was done by the end of 15. And I'm just getting it published, so it's been a journey. But I actually have two other books that I'm current, actually three, oh, wow. that I'm currently working on. Because I started one at the same time as this, and sure. I haven't finished that one yet. But it's like when you are an artist and you got that creative mind, all the ideas come. Absolutely. So I had to like move this one over and start writing another one because the storylines didn't match with what I was already working on. Mm -hmm. So I have two books. Well, I have the one that I started with this one. I have another one that I most I started at the beginning of this year, and then I have a children's book that I'm now working on. Awesome, so, awesome. yeah, I mean, I was just thinking about it. I, I, getting the book being turned into a movie called Screen under the, the script size so juicy. You yes, guys see that? Actually, that's to present this definitely show. something play, that I yeah. want to look into. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a goal of mine to get it play book, yeah, play movie, awesome. whichever yeah. one. You got a great actor, yes. right? Yes. 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 So that's definitely a plan. I'm yeah. trying to get people to buy it and get interested and, you know, see what avenues I can go sure. into getting that done, but that's definitely... Well, let me tell you one thing, Power by Radio Show, we definitely yeah. want to help you push it, definitely help you I support it. anything oh, really? that we can do to help you, we have your back. Yeah, now, where can it. people find the book? Because I know the people, the listeners want to know, where can we get this juice? Right now, right. today, juicy juice. So, right now, um, you can buy it directly through me. Uh, if you use any of my social media, Instagram is Shonda's Got Talent, Facebook is Shonda's Got Talent Bivens. Um, I have a LaShonda the Arthur page on Facebook. Uh, I believe it probably next week it will be available on Amazon.com okay. and okay. Barnes and Noble and a couple of other sources, I think like iTunes and things like that. But I'm just not 100% sure because I'm still kind of waiting on certain things from my publisher. But I know for sure Amazon and Barnes and Noble. But I also have a book signing coming up. August the 3rd, it'll be at Happy Cat Candle Store, and hey. the book will actually be oh, awesome. featured in that store, so nice. you can pick it up there as well. So it's uh, August the 3rd, Happy Cat Candle Store, which is the second location. Mm -hmm. They have one in North Lake, and it will be uh, from 7 to 9 that sure. day that I'll be having my book signing, but this book will be in there going forward. So that's another way people can just go directly pick it up. I'm going to tell you something before we go any further. I'm sitting looking at this lady and her, her, her name is Sean, right? right. So I'm thinking Sean Ryan, right? right? So I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. that she is Absolutely. And how, Absolutely. how she's setting trend and the standard in television, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. with, with all of her things that she right. touches like gold. And you just, it's just a refreshing thing to see that continuing Absolutely. to reinvent itself through you, baby. So kudos to everything that you're trying to do. And we're behind you 100%. Congratulations for two for being a great mom, role mom for black women. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that, that, that's, that's that wrong. You, you get what I'm trying to say? And a lot of people don't especially support the black woman. You know what I'm trying to say? So we definitely want to support you here with 100% behind you. Absolutely. 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 So, Miss Katana, we hey, see you over there. Hey, hello, hello, hello. Look at all the Hey, family. When I say hey. a million dollars, y'all. Hey, everybody. I'm blessed to be here today. Well, blessed. we are blessed to have you. You know what I mean? That's, if, if to anybody who doesn't really know, you need to get to know this young Please. lady. She is, you know, pretty much iconic in these all the streets. You know, mm -hmm. she just set a trend and a path that, you know, that's undeniable. You know, through 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 business, fashion, everything that mm -hmm. she touches. You know, you guys should you know keep it out for a man. And I've just been a fan of hers. We you know we work together on things, but mm -hmm. just her work ethic that you can only you she would only get good things coming her way. Thank so you. we're proud to have you. So that's Thank number you. one. Thank so you. Now, so please tell the world about this great fashion line. That you have. Hey. So um, late time your start event. AKA BKA Katana. Katana. I took on Katana whew, quite a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Quite a few years ago. Look, a lot of inside jokes, a lot of inside jokes right? about Katana. <laughs> but um, 
passion has always been something that I have. I said passion. Fashion has been something that I've always had a passion for. I, who, since as long as I can remember, my mom loves to tell this story about when I was two, I played with Barbies. And being a hardworking mother, she didn't always have the means that some women did. And I wanted Barbie clothes. I'm two. I don't know what money is. I just know I want clothes for my Barbie dolls. Mm -hmm. So she said she handed me an old sock. (laughs) And I'm looking at this sock like, what is this? This isn't clothes for my doll. This goes on your foot. So she handed me a pair of scissors, showed me how to use them. Uh And she took a needle and threaded it and showed me what to do. And the rest is history. So I have been sewing and creating since... I was two years old. Two years old. Wow, that's that's an amazing. Story. I, I yeah. mean, but that's you can amazing. tell by you know by yeah. her designs Just in 2018. In general, I mean, she's in general, on, she, she's on a whole other level. Yeah, and and we want to say this to the world: y'all need to support this woman. Like she said, she's been grinding since Very she was two years old. Too. Very humble. But she has high class, quality clothing. For a very reasonable price. So yes. Please yes. with this lady. Mm-hmm. Yes. I um I recently just launched a children's line called Cupcake Unicorn. Hey, okay. I like that. So with Cupcake Unicorn, I try to do children's clothing and accessories that's customizable. Mm-hmm. I just recently gave birth to a beautiful little girl. This is my yes, third Lord, biological yes. child. Yes. Thank you. Um, she is 10 weeks old. And with my firstborn, she's nine now. And I, I have a 16-month-old little boy. But with my first daughter, I worked directly after she was born. I took that month break and mm-hmm. went back to work. I would see cute stuff in stores. I'd buy it, little tutus and things, and they were all so expensive. But I'm like, okay, looking at the stuff, oh, I can make this, but I never had the time. Mm-hmm. And in 2015, I decided I was done with authority. I was not working for anyone else anymore. Mm-hmm. So I was going to it. do it myself. So one Wednesday afternoon, my supervisor, I had never gotten in trouble at work. He came to my desk and he wrote me up. Uh-oh. And it was for something that was no fault of my own. It's company rules. Mm-hmm. And of course, when you're in dealing with customers, mm-hmm. customers always don't always like what the company has Absolutely. instilled. Mm-hmm. So they take it out on the workers. Yeah, mm-hmm. And he wrote me up. I was so upset. I looked at my coworker and I was like, I'm done. He was like, no, go take the rest of the day and come back tomorrow. You'll be good. I said, no, I'm done. I grabbed my purse. I walked out the door Mm -hmm. and I never looked back. Sometimes people don't understand. You have to step out on faith. You do. You know, it's it's, it's a hard road. You know, it's going to be hard, but, you know, life's not easy. You know, God had to sacrifice. So why why we think we're exempt? Exactly. And he gave me this gift, and why not share it with the world? That's that's your your time. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I say it all the time that. You know, when you invest in yourself, it's like mm-hmm. you're tithing in the blessing that he gave you. Of course. You understand? So, of I mean, course. you're investing in him and the blessing that he gave you of to course. give up. Of so, course. I mean, you would do a disservice if you didn't or if yes. you ignored that or waited to you your bypass your blessing. So, yes. you know, it's good. You're young. You're still beautiful. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got your head on right. You got a good, you know, support mm-hmm. system. Yes, and, you definitely. Know, we're, and we've been behind you. We're going to continue to stand behind you 100%. Thank you. you know? Thank and, you, and one thing everybody. I can say I love about her fashion line is actually supports our heritage. Right? Oh, yeah. Yes. I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And the history, you know, with mm-hmm. this young lady, it's, 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 it's so deep. It's deeper, you know, than the skin. Oh, she and woke. I can see. Oh, they yeah. woke over She's very woke. They're very woke. Yes, yes I, I, I try to pride myself in being so. Mm-hmm. And with that step out on faith Mm -hmm. and just being around the people that I'm around Mm -hmm. and coming to light, bringing new things to light and learning about where my people come from, Mm -hmm. I'm like, they don't teach this in schools. Mm -hmm. So we have to teach our children. We have to. And having three biological children and a stepchild I'm like, we have to teach them where they come from and 
and if you know where you come from, mm-hmm. you can map out where you're going. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And the children nowadays are so lost because Absolutely. they have no sense of being, they have no sense of belonging. Right. They're in this country, in yeah. this world, and they don't know where they fit in. Right. So as long as we teach them in the household, they'll grow up with that sense of pride and be the kings and queens that they are. And they'll do something positive for the world. That's the thing, man. You know, if you you want to stagnate a generation or a race, you just keep the information from them that makes them great. And that's what this country is built on. That's why a lot of racism and hatred is built on. It's that one thought. Mm-hmm. You know, keep you from knowing how great that you are. Keep you from knowing that you know our ancestors. You know, started the gold thing. Anything that's that that's invented, created or invented, you know how people have done that. So that's Definitely. you know a whole other topic. We definitely want to just stay focused on you. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I mean, what what do you have coming up, Katana? Can you tell us? You Ooh. Know, you. I mean, just, <laughs> you know she got a lot going. You know she got a lot going. I got a lot going. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> But the main thing right now is my boutique that I'm trying to launch. Hopefully, it'll be ready Mm mid-2019. People can stay updated on my Instagram, which is Mm whoiskatana, W-H-O-I-S-K-A-T-A-N-A. On Facebook, all of my businesses can be found under Katana's Fashion. I do a little bit of everything. I have a pre-loved resale business. Of course, you got to bring coin in from oh, other um, other resources. Right, sure. um, the average billionaire has seven Trying different streams of income. Yeah. So and I'm I'm up to about five or six. <laughs> so. yeah, that's glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad you said that. You know, we were just talking the other day. And, um, somebody told us, you know, one of our people's, man, y'all doing too much. Y'all got too many jobs. But when it comes to other races, you know, we can graduate, we pat them on the exactly. back. And like I said, we follow... How, how to say the um, the guideline of you need to have seven streams of income, but why when it comes to our people there's a problem? Exactly, well, you know, that's and it's where, I'm, I'm sorry. it's cool. always you're working like a insert whatever foreign nation mm-hmm. race whatever, right. mm-hmm. and it's like why can't we work like ourselves? Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, we all want to be successful. They say mm-hmm. money is the root of all evil. Mm-hmm. It's like let me. See See for myself. Right, right. Bring it in, and yeah. I'll tell you how I feel about it. Right. <laughs> Money doesn't bring happiness, but um, being right. broke doesn't either. I mean, you know, it's, you're right. You're right. You know, and it's a, it's, it's that inner peace we all search of at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? To be to be able to sleep good with yourself, your own of soul, course. your own spirit. Right. You know, and just you know, knowing you provide for your kids or have them, no matter how you did. And mm-hmm. the community. To sleep good. A- absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. You have to give back, right. no matter yeah. what, because you can't forget where you came from mm-hmm. and what it took you to get to where you are today. Right. Sure. All right. That's right. Well, you know, we got to get back to some of them Plug City days, y'all. Them oh, community, yeah. Them community oh, events. Oh, oh, you know what I'm yes. saying? Hey, we got to get back to some of the community <laughs> events. I mean, uh, I mean, last summer, you know, y'all know what oh. we did. I mean, we, we changed the whole city. Yes. We brought everybody together. And yes. we need to bring that love back. Yes, we definitely Because the city do. is lost we right now. And all this, this violence, these murders, you know, we, we have to make a stamp in a positive way. Yes. Now, I know that um, we have a women's empowerment speed mixer coming up. We're mm-hmm. shooting for the end of September right now. Okay. Um, this young lady is one of the women that's helping me put it together. And we basically just want to bring women together to support. And, of course, mm-hmm. being a woman, women are the backbone. We help Absolutely. We help to raise our men up. Absolutely. And uh, the yeah. men are supposed to be the head. So uh, mm-hmm. without a strong backbone, they're going to crumble. So yeah. we, have to, we have to keep ourselves together in order to keep you guys together. Queens, queens have run, queens have run Ooh, countries. They have hey. run armies. They have that's run a, civilizations. So, you know, that's what. I mean, that's what you guys got to know, and that's what we're going to try to bring to y'all, man. As we say, here, no problem, just solutions. And uh, Katana, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and LaShonda, man, we're just so fortunate and blessed. Blessed. And before we get out of here, please.